listening to the money app and with your host, Brian Mitchell, sponsored by Absolute Mortgage, a division of Pinnacle Capital Mortgage Corporation. Now in the studio, local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Okay, everybody, and welcome to our February 17th <laughs> meeting. I missed all of that, but here we go. Uh, Tina Mitchell. Are. Sorry about that. I we haven't used this uh, this system in in a little bit, and I I guess I forgot how to use it. How scary is that? Well, I feel like I'm right back at home, so I'm loving it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I spent so much time on that other system. Oh well, we'll get we'll get it figured out. Well, I did say uh, good morning, Tina Mitchell here with the Mortgage Minutes while the music was going, but I was still on mute. So good morning, everybody. I wanted to take a couple minutes with you this morning to talk about uh, things that you may not like to do. So what is it that you don't want to do? What is keeping you back from getting to that next level with your business? What is keeping you from moving forward with the extra time that you want to have in your life. No, this is not the eight-week burn, um, but it is uh, something that's a little bit out of the, the difference from uh, actual mortgages. But just to help you and in, in to think out of the box in putting something together for your business so that you can enjoy your business, get to the next level, and enjoy life as well. So what are some things that you might not want to do? Data management, I know that that's a big one for um, especially entrepreneurs because we're not, most of the time, that's not a skill that we enjoy doing. Otherwise, we probably would not be an entrepreneur. Or we would be more on an ad, ad, administrative uh, back end uh, piece of the business. So, but it's an important part of the business to make sure that you have a database, that you're getting information in there, that you're managing it so that you can not only maximize your opportunities in your business, but you can maximize your efficiency and your time. What about reports? I would imagine that you probably have a lot of reports that you have to generate. I know that I do. There's a lot of, and maybe they're not reports that you have to generate, but they're reports that you should be generating. What is the one of the best ways to improve our stats in our business is to actually monitor what's happening with our business, what's working, what's not working, where are areas that can improve, what are our pull-throughs, are we losing traction somewhere, gaining traction somewhere. If you don't have a reporting system and manage that process, it can be impossible to be able to manage your business based on the stat side. What about social media? I, there's a lot of things involved in social media. What about just um, staying connected with people on social media? What about uh, blogging content? Uh, all kinds of areas of social media that can not help just in the opportunity to generate business, but to help in your sphere of people and keep engaged with them through the social media platform. Uh, building presentations, creating campaigns, designing marketing material, all of these things are um, uh, can be time consuming. Maybe your, your creativity is not there. It's not something that you enjoy doing. Uh, what about phone calls? I know this is a, a big one in sales, and it's the most important thing that we need to be doing. And we need to be doing more of it even if we are doing it on a consistent basis because phone call stays you, keeps you connected with your clients. Phone calls as opportunities to bring in new business, uh, whether it's expired listings, uh, booking for workshops, uh, trying to land meetings with uh, people you want to do business with. Now, obviously, a lot of calls need to come from you as a leader, but also there are calls that um, don't. So talking of, about phone calls, what about setting and confirming appointments? Uh, transaction coordinating. I don't know what you guys got to do over on your side, but there's a lot on our side that we have to do, and um, uh, it's a lot of a lot of work. Uh, listing management. A lot of things that you guys have to do in managing your listings. Administrative work. Now that piece goes on and on. What about uh, personal things? You know, personal tasks of computer things that have to be done in managing things for you personally. 
So here is a brilliant idea that uh, when I was writing one of my chapters in my book, which is Embrace Your Strengths, and that is all around team building, I thought, you know, what is the biggest challenge that people have that don't build a team? Well, there's a couple of them that I came up with, or they're not hiring that first assistant. And I, see, I think most of the time when you hire that first assistant, if you see the potential, it encourages to get you excited about building on that momentum. But here's what I think two of the biggest challenges are. Number one is just the fear of the hiring process and the fear of what to do with that person. And second is the financial cost to it. Now, I confidently believe that both of those things can be eliminated, especially the financial cost. So we've got to spend money to make money. Uh, but it's, you know, really it's, it's getting these things off of your plate so you can be productive uh, and really do the things that you enjoy doing, which is obviously is going to take your business to that next level. So um, with a virtual assistant, it's, you've got an uh, accountability there where there's a concierge service that can really help to uh, steer this or help with this person in the accountability side. Um, daily reports of what reporting they're doing. And I know that you guys have the STAR program for a lot of great things on the marketing side and managing the transaction. But where I think that most people in our, uh, in our industry lack is on the call side. So really just having somebody that can pick up the phone and can call those expired listings. They can call the opportunities to generate you business. So how do you report that? How do you keep the reporting system for the accountability side? Well, they've got daily reports and things that they need to do. Call logs. You've got um, recordings so you can you can uh, keep accountable with the recording, listening to the recording phone calls. Uh, end of the day reports, so you can help coach around their scripting, um, how many calls that they've made. They've got a whole system set up for tracking uh, phone calls, so it's all online. It's really, really um, uh, great. Daily meetings with Skype, so this is really where the coaching and training, and this is what I've done, so I've hired a VA for myself. You guys know I have Victoria that takes care of all of me, my admin side. Lisa, my loan coordinator that takes care of the transaction side, I really believe those positions are meant for in-staff people. But what I've hired my VA for is strictly generating me opportunities, opportunities that I can share with my referral partners in booking for workshops, uh, calling renters. So there's a lot of different things that I'm doing on that end to generate business, and that's what I've decided to use my uh, VA for. Uh, training provided because they have in, uh, in-house with other people that are doing the same activities as far as generating opportunities and leads. So they have that masterminding within uh, the company that manages the VA. Not a good fit, replace them. Not to say that in a, in a bad way, but it takes a lot of that pressure off when you know if it's not the right person for you. Um, so low cost, 10 hours. If you want to hire for 10 hours, it's $13.75 an hour, um, $13.75 an hour, which is $5.97 a month. So if you had somebody calling for you for 10 hours and it cost you less than $600, do you think if you were strategic on the calls that this first person made for you that you might be able to pay that, that cost off? 20 hours, it goes down to 9.50 an hour, so it would be $832 an hour. 40 hours, 9.50 an hour, um, or same 9.50, so that would be 16.64 a month. Health insurance is covered, vacation pay is covered, uh, easy hiring process because they do a disk profile, so we all know what is the requirement for somebody to be a dialer and to generate leads, so make sure that they have that profile that's required. Applicant screening, they'll take care of all the applicant screening, do all the interview setups, and um, help to take your business to that next level. So if you guys want more information on that, just reach out to uh, Kiyoki and Stephanie or myself, and um, we can get you connected with somebody. So. Thanks a lot, you guys, and that's my Mortgage Minutes.